are top three uh, jobs in the market for international students. This international students coming from Ukraine who are going to... Basically, this is uh, to provide you the information that you need to know when it comes to living in Estonia as a foreign student. And in case that you don't know, my name is RJ and I've been living in Estonia as a foreigner for almost four years. I'm also sharing my insights and experiences when it comes to being a former international student in Tallinn, Estonia. Um, last time, I've answered some of the questions that you guys have asked me in the comment section as well as in the direct messages that I receive in my Instagram account. I have shed some light on the virus information in terms of looking for the right program for you um, as well as getting the accommodation and looking for a job. Today, in this video, I'm also going to give a further information when it comes to looking for a job as a foreign student and I'm also going to share the current situation of the country when it comes to the Ukraine and Russian conflict. If you feel that this content will want to help you out further your plan to become a successful international student in Estonia, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos and contents. The ability to speak multiple languages here in Estonia is definitely a plus when it comes to the job market. However, it is not a mandatory in each and every company. Uh, there are other companies or workplace where English language is uh, the preferred language of communication. Um, also, when it comes to the part-time job for international students, I noticed that there are top there are top three uh, jobs in the market for international students. The first is working in the kitchen or as a cashier in restaurants. Second is working in the food delivery service or taxi. And the third is uh, getting into startup companies or international companies. Being employed in the food industry is really something that I could relate to because for almost two years I've been a chef, uh, I've been working as a chef in two different restaurants without even having a formal education when it comes to cooking. However, I do have a passion for it and I think that my skills were developed even before I accepted the job. On the other hand, food delivery service and uh, being a taxi driver is something that is very much out of my league. One primary reason why this is uh, this kind of job didn't work for me is because I don't know how to drive. And this is one job that most international students here in Estonia are able to land at uh, whenever they um, started their to build their own career here. Um, I mean, there's really nothing wrong to work in this industry. It's just that it's not going to work for me simply because I don't know how to drive. So basically, it's something that is going to lag me into that department. So number three is finding a job in the office. Landing a job in the startup companies are challenging, but at the same time, it's going to be rewarding. The screening process when it comes to application of um, office jobs or office works here in Tallinn, Estonia is actually uh, a little bit difficult. Most of the companies are choosing and screening their candidates, scrutinizing every single part of their um, skills and what they can offer to the company. Even just having an interview is a very difficult uh, part of applying to certain companies. When it comes to working in the office, it is mostly providing supports and services to a company that has operations in several countries. These are mostly international companies. Therefore, the tolerance for diversity is needed to be comfortable in this type of work environment. Startup companies and entrepreneurship is very much welcome here in Estonia and there are even business opportunities that always uh, supported, being supported by, by the government and other private sectors when it comes to building and having a startup companies. In terms of working legally, uh, you can work uh, with the student visa that the country will going to provide. You don't have to apply for a separate working visa in order for you to work and study at the same time. One thing that you have to keep in mind is in terms of working in Estonia, you have to make sure that the company that you're going to work for will going to provide you contracts. Contract is very important when it comes to working either full-time or part-time in Estonia. 
This will going to provide you with enough benefits that an employee will going to get and receive from the government as well as the health insurance that one should receive. There are numerous companies and um, working environments here in Estonia that still operates under the table or in the black market. So basically what going to receive their uh, salaries by cash and they would not end up uh, getting the tax paid it will going to cause them a problem in the long run so most of the time uh, contracts here are translated into two languages the Estonian language and the English language so do make sure that you have read every information that there is in the contract before signing it so in terms of being an international student I think that is so it's more about uh, having the connection to whatever it is that you're doing and being passionate to whatever uh, job that there is available however do not limit yourself to the ones that I've mentioned because there are other uh, industries out there for international students some uh, industry would include um, online gaming um, online casino as well as customer support so the working possibilities for international students is almost limitless it's just that you need to have you need to have the ability to, as well as the capacity for you to develop yourself into that field also going to share the links of the websites where one can find a job and it's going to be available in, in the description box below so yeah Traveling has always been my passion and as you can see, I'm actually in an airport right now recording this video. One of the perks in living in Estonia is I could easily travel within European countries and that's something that I am always sharing in my uh, videos and vlogs. So in case that you missed out my other uh, travel escapades, do check them out because I've already put the uh, links in the description box below. The unfolding of the crisis of Russia's invasion in the Ukraine is a terrifying situation, not only to the surrounding countries but also to the whole world. Estonia being part of the Baltic country and former Soviet Union has close relationship when it comes to the Russian borders, geographically and uh, historically. Uh, based on the information that I've read uh, online as well as the information that is being uh, shared in the social media, the country has already stopped accepting uh, international or incoming students from uh, Russia as well as Belarus. However, Estonia has made sure that the international students coming from Ukraine who are going to have better opportunities in terms of scholarships and uh, I'm confident that there hasn't been any breach of safety uh, in the country. So those, those are the answers to some of the frequently asked questions that you guys have given me. So let's continue and have this conversation. And I still encourage you to leave those comments and questions in the comment section down below as well as add me up in Instagram so that you can direct message th your questions um, and I'm going to try to answer them as much as I can. Um, if you enjoy watching this video, just feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can follow along with my journey in my Instagram and this is going to be it for me for today. See you in my next video. Travel and adventure.